Hi, I'm Jim Downing, and I'm here to tell you about our summer issue. We've got strawberries on the cover. And the strawberry industry is in a real period of transition. 2016 is the last year in which growers will be able to use the fumigant methyl bromide. Now, methyl bromide is highly effective at killing the pests in the soil that are the main obstacle to getting high yields of strawberries. But it also damages the ozone layer, so it's been phased out, and that process will be complete at the end of this year. There's no real replacement for methyl bromide, so three of our articles look at where the industry goes from here. So in our Outlook opinion piece, ANR's Margaret Lloyd and Tom Gordon at UC Davis make the case that growers need to work together to manage soil health, for instance, by cleaning equipment when they move from one field to the next. It's an interesting look at healthy soil as a sort of shared resource in strawberry growing areas. In another paper, Amanda Hodson and Edwin Lewis, both at UC Davis, review the concept of soil health as a pest management strategy in strawberries and other crops. The idea there is that cultivating beneficial soil microbes can help to suppress pests. We also have a news feature on some work at ANR's Hansen Agricultural Research and Extension Center in Ventura County on improving anaerobic soil disinfestation, which is a chemical-free alternative to fumigation. And finally, I'll point you to a really interesting article that's not about strawberries. It's by a team from UC Berkeley and the Nature Conservancy on how produce farmers are trying to balance the sometimes competing demands of food safety and wildlife conservation in the face of pressure from produce buyers and private auditors. That's all for now. There's even more good stuff in this issue, and I hope you'll take a look.